Today you are going to be learning about fundamental analysis. You are going to learn how to use the news to predict the direction of the market. So today is Friday, uh, about 5th, 4th October. Today we have NFP coming in 12.30 a.m. The market direction using events, using economic events. When we say fundamental, we are simply talking about things that control the market from economic point of view. So we have technical analysis, that is your own view about the market. Then we have fundamentals, this is the general news events. We can have uh, good news from United States about the economy. If there is a good news about United States economy, then we know that the market will surely go down because Bitcoin is pegged to the dollar. So immediately the dollar is doing well, Bitcoin usually declines. But anytime the dollar starts to depreciate, then you see Bitcoin rising. So when we see Bitcoin rising, the alternative tokens also follow. So I'm going to show you the websites that you need to be using so that you can start trading crypto with your smartphone just by analyzing the market with your with some website. So what we are going to do is you'll be needing these websites and I'll explain to you the reasons why you need them. So the first website that you need is called Binance. Binance is an exchange. You can use it to take trades, right? So if you are trading crypto or if you are doing anything with crypto, I'll just advise you to get a verified Binance account. Then you make sure you follow me on Binance so that you will be able to start trading and making money. Then the next website is called TradingView. So TradingView is for technical analysis. Yesterday's video, I showed you everything about how to use TradingView, so you can go and check it out. Then we have CoinMarketCap. So CoinMarketCap is for DeFi wallets and exchanges. Maybe you are just going to do a research about a particular token. I'm sure it should appear on CoinMarketCap. Even your coin selection, which I'll do a video about it. So make sure you subscribe. You surely get it on CoinMarketCap. Then the last website that I'm thinking about is Bybit. Bybit works the same way as Binance. Bybit, it works the same way as Binance. Just that because uh, some of us are having uh, different jurisdiction. For example, Bybit is not, uh, Binance is not able to work well in Nigeria. So if you are in Nigeria, using Bybit will really help you. So first we call fundamental analysis. As I told you before, technical analysis is using price history to determine the direction. Using your personal ideas, what you think about the market is called technical analysis. What you have analyzed is called technical analysis. But fundamentals are really the things that are controlling the market. For me to show you example, let's say that last the beginning of the week that was on monday because of iran and uh israel things the market declines this is fundamentals this is fundamentals bitcoin used like two weeks to rise and within 24 hours it lost like seven percent it declined seven percent and alternative tokens declined like 50 to even up to 30 percent so fundamentals are news events that control the market direction technical analysis of what you think your opinion about the market so if i go to trading view here then i go to uh product and i go to this particular place called super chat if i look at the market and i see it is going down I've just done technical analysis. If I look at the market and I'm saying it's going up, I just done uh, what we call technical analysis. But if I go to investing.com, then I go to economic calendar. So the first thing that you need to do is, once you get all these websites or all these accounts from this website, you go to a website called investing.com. So when you come to investing.com on the dashboard at the upper top you see a place we have 
major indices we have indices features real-time commodities webinars bitcoin economic calendar earning calendar what you should be focusing on is economic calendar economic calendar so you click on economic calendar here so after clicking on economic calendar now the next thing that you do is have you seen today so today these are the news that are currently going to happen from at the time of recording this video to like 9 30 pm tonight we even have news from new zealand japan australia church republic united states so we are going to do filters we are going to filter out the news that we really need so you click on the filters remember when you go to economic calendar you click on filters so if i click on filters now we are going to unselect this particular website so we unselect here we unselect it leaving only united states so i'll just unselect okay so we remove all the countries here select three hairs after selecting three hairs now we have our economic whether we want to use inflation central banks and credit we have three types of news you should be looking at we have interest rate unemployment and we have initial jobless claims so these three news every month they repeat itself so once they are going to come then you need to be looking at the market i'll be explaining what you should be expecting right so i can do this then i'll just click on confirm here so i click on apply so once i click on apply i can only see news from united states so today we have non-farm payroll this is the unemployment so for example let's say we are going to trade and i'm going to do fundamental analysis the first step is for me to go to investing.com right then i go to the economic calendar i come to today's place when i come to today's place we have average earnings and we have unemployment uh, change which is 8 30 in the morning so i can click on it here so after clicking on it i'll scroll down once i scroll down this is what is happening the unemployment rate explains the percentage of the total workforce happening in one month so if the news release is positive for the dollar we already know that we are going to be selling so we are going to sell bitcoin right but if the news release is negative for the dollar we are going to be buying bitcoin so now we have three heads we know understand the major fundamentals that affect the market for example this news happens every friday of the new month so meaning next month the first week of that friday we'll be having nfp again they are repetitive so you just have to filter out then you install the app on your mobile phone so that you'll be you know how to do it you can even create alerts so that they can send you message now let's move to the next part which is going to coin market cap and analyzing the tokens so now we know that there are news that affect the market and this news we can't control it and this news they come out every single month they are repetitive now that you have known and you know the time that the news will be released so we are going to select a particular tokens that the news usually affect you see anytime there is a news release because bitcoin is pegged with the dollar when something positive is happening to the dollar then bitcoin will be declining when something negative is happening to the dollar then bitcoin will be rising and bitcoin is the father of all the tokens so if bitcoin is going up just know that ethereum will follow bnb will follow ADA will follow link chain link will follow we have solana will follow but immediately bitcoin start to drop if bitcoin start to drop 
Ethereum will drop faster, BNB will follow, Solana will follow, Chainlink will follow, XRP will follow. So now you know that anytime there is a positive news for the dollar is bad for Bitcoin. And when there is a negative news for the dollar is bad for, uh, is good for Bitcoin, right? And I'm saying that when Bitcoin is rising, the other tokens follow. So let's say we are going to trade. When you are doing fundamentals, you have to look at the websites or the exchange that you are trading from. We have three major exchanges. If a token is not listed there, you should be afraid of trading it. So for example, if a token is not listed on Binance, Bybit, OKX, or KuCoin, KuCoin is the last website. If a particular coin that you are going to trade is not listed on Binance, Bybit, OKX or KuCoin, don't trade it. So I go to CoinMarketCap after analyzing the fundamentals using trade, uh, investing.com. When I come to CoinMarketCap, I'll click on the CoinMarketCap logo at the left hand side. Okay. Now a page will appear where they say trending and I click on the trending section. After clicking on the trending section, the next thing is for me to count from 1 to 10 and select a token that is currently listed on Binance, Bybit and OKX. So I count from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The reason why we are doing this is because these are the tokens people have currently traded for the past 24 hours. These are the tokens that people have really invested their money inside for the past 24 hours. So we want to make sure that we have taken these tokens so that we can invest our money in. These are the tokens that can really move faster, move faster if we are trading it. So for example, we have hamster token, AI, C, Siri, Solana, Engine, we have Ethereum, XRP, PP. So, for example, let's say I want to trade PP because it's part of the top 10. So I click on the 9 section, which is PP. Observe something here. Observe something here. Have you seen the, they are saying the contract is Metamax and Trust Wallet, meaning you can easily buy PP on your Trust Wallet with this contract ID. This is their website. You always check the website then if we scroll down to we have the order flow and the token update information the next part is market if i click on market the token should be listed on binance bybit okx and kucoin so you can see pepe is listed on binance bybit okx and even uniswap cracking gate.io if we go to the second uh, page, it's even listed on BitGet, KuCoin, and Medzek. This is to tell you that PP is a legit coin and you can really trade it. Now we go to the new section because we are talking about fundamentals. So you click on new section. If people are talking positive news about that particular token, then that means just a few minutes, you see it rising. If people are talking negative news about that token, the token will start to fall. So you can see just one hour ago, we have an article saying that people have dropped like 60% in the past. Uh, Solana tokens, people have dropped like 60% in, in the past 24 hours. We have four hours ago, people have really rallied on Solana meme tokens. So this is to tell you that all these news they amount to something like when people are talking positive news about the token it's just sooner or later you see it surging or rising like uh 10 percent 40 percent 50 percent sometimes even 70 percent within 24 hours do you get it so you can see since the creation of pp uh in 27 uh 2023 2023 it have increased like three thousand two hundred and thirty seven percent or even more than that so the last one pp is equivalent to 
zero one USDT. One USDT is equivalent to zero point zero 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 nine of PP, right? So these are the articles that people have currently written and tag PP. You can also read it. So let's say we went to investing.com and we have filtered out our economic calendar and we selected only United States. We know that today we have NFP and we have gone to coin market cap, check through, then we are selecting PP to trade. Remember what I told you, anytime Bitcoin is rising, these meme tokens and alternative tokens will follow. When we say alternative tokens, we are simply talking about any particular digital currency apart from Bitcoin is an alternative token. We also have fiat, to fiat currencies that are controlled by central governments. Fiat currency like the US dollar, the Ghana CD, the, the Naira for Nigerians, then we have the pound for British people, and we have all these uh, uh, fiat currencies that are governed by countries. We have the Austra Australian dollar, we have the Canadian dollar. These are fiat currencies. But digital currencies are not controlled by any government and they are usually created on the blockchain. Do you get it? So if someone tells you that alternative tokens, they are talking about tokens apart from Bitcoin. Any token, Ethereum is an alternative token. BNB is an alternative token. But if I say fiat currency, I'm talking about the US dollar. I'm talking about pound. I'm talking about Japanese yen, I'm talking about uh, Iru, all these uh, fiat currencies that we can talk about. So we see like we are going to trade PP. Now we went to investing.com and we check for fundamentals. And I'm saying that when you read news and they are telling you that the news is positive for the dollar, it's 70% chance that Bitcoin will drop. And if Bitcoin is dropping, you know that the alternative tokens will follow. Just know this at the back of your mind. Then let's say we are going to trade PP. You can see we have PP name here. Now we click on trading view section here. After clicking on trading view, this is the trade that we took yesterday. We are able to achieve our 3 TP, which is about 2.8 risk to reward ratio. Now you can be using my trading uh indicators i shared it in my last video this is the 15 minutes time frame of bitcoin in the past 24 hours so meaning each candlestick that you are seeing here is equivalent to 15 minutes it's like we are about to go up because that's what the uh moving averages are telling us to buy bitcoin at this particular price you can see we are trying to get an uptrend here so if i click on the search box at the top left hand side then i type in pp then you add dot p to it make sure you select crypto here remember you are going to select pp because we have pinned down and we are going to trade pp do you get it now now we are going to trade pp on our bybit because we are having money in our bybit right now so that's what we are going to be using to trade on our exchange so if you want you can also use a website like binance which is also a best exchange so i'll go back to my uh trading view here so now we are talking about technical analysis i've just showed you everything that you need to know about fundamental analysis and i told you that fundamentals are economic events that control the market direction Te technical analysis is your own view what you are currently thinking you might be thinking that the market is going down someone will sit somewhere and think the market is going up that's fundamental analysis just using price history to determine the direction of what the market will do next so we are going to trade by bit derivatives so because we are going to trade by bit derivatives we have just entered pp here then we can see this is you can even select the spot number of pp and this is the current price so looking at the current price of pp in the 15 minutes time frame our moving average is telling us that we should enter a long position. So I'm just going to right click on my chart here. Click on the reset chart. Now we are going to enter a long position. So to enter a long position, 
what we'll do is we'll go to our forecasting and measurement tools because we are thinking the market is going up then we'll do what we enter a long position bar here so we are selecting long position you can also click on the short bar the shortcut tools that you have added and the long position so if i click here now i'm going to select where my stop loss will be so for example let's say i want my stop loss to be at the nearest support level then my take profit will be at the breakout section which is one is to three always make sure you are targeting one is to three now the next thing that i'll do is i'll go to my exchange but before i go to my exchange i'll double click here then i'll enter the capital that i'm having in my exchange account so to do this i'll go to my uh, trading account okay so let's go to our trading account so we go to trading account here so let's just refresh our page so after refreshing our page i'm going to select my trading account right for now let's say i'm going to use an amount of uh you are going to enter the capital that you are having in your derivative futures wallet not to your bybit account so that you can calculate the amount you are going to risk and take the trade which is very important risk management is very very important when it comes to crypto day trading so let's just allow it to load then we we'll enter the amount that we are going to use to take the trade So we scroll down to trade here we have derivatives at the top so you click on derivative portal here so i just click on derivative now you click on trade now so you click on trade now so after clicking on trade now they are going to tell you that this is how much you are currently having in your trading account so we allow you to load then i'll use that amount to calculate my percentage risk to reward and see how much we are going to make if this trade goes in our favor and also how much we are going to lose if the trade doesn't go in our favor right so this is our current balance on our margin now i'm going to transfer money into my derivatives features account so to do that just check that down below you have deposit convert and transfer so i'll click on transfer here so after clicking on transfer i'll be moving the money from my account to my derivative features i'll enter 500 dollars here this is our entry and this is our take profit and stop loss so our stop loss is 0 0.0000087 then our targeted price where we want to exit the market should in case goes well is 0 0.00095 so i click on ok section here after clicking on OK, now I'll go back to my trading view. Then I have click on the transfer button. So I'm just going to transfer an amount of 500 USD. I can even use my smartphone to do that. So let me just use my smartphone, which is very fast to do the transfer. Then we can. When you click on the chat button here, just hover over to the chat button around this particular place. Then you see that. A drop down menu appear where you can select 1000 pp so we click here then we see the menu appear then we select 1000 pp here so i click on the bar at the left hand side so you can see we are trading 1000 pp so you make sure you select 1000 pp at this section so i just click on it so once i click on it the page will load and all my other book my market orders deal all change to 1000 pp so remember on trading view they are telling us that for us to use the amount that we want to use we have to make sure that we are entering that amount here so this is our current trade but let's say we are going to take it on this pc we are going to make sure that we are using five percent of our capital so we click here because we are going for long position so this is ten percent of what we are currently having at this section right so the next thing that i'll do is i'll click on tp slash sl so once i click on tp slash sl because we are going long you just leave it on long if you are going short you can click short now i'll go back to my trading view account if i go back to my trading view 
this is my take profit so i'll copy here then i'll go and paste it as my take profit at this section then i'll go to my trading view again copy this for our stop loss So this is where our stop loss will be, which is 0 0.00. So we have our stop loss at this level. So let's say we want to go to 50%. Then I can click on confirm. Once you click on confirm, the trade will appear at this session, right? The trade will appear at this session where you click on buy long because we are thinking the market will go up. So we click on buy long. If you are thinking the market will go down, your analysis you click on sell shop and your trade will appear at the positions here so update you guys in two to three hours time today we are even having fundamentals so meaning the market will be very volatile if you have any questions you can just comment down below